Alright guys, welcome to my LP. Uh, I have been in a lot of work off camera. I don't know why I'm looking up here because it's all over here. But yeah, this is going to be my hallway section which leads off to the other places. I mean, uh, there'll be halls here and here and stuff. Pro well, no, not there. But this is my first edition. I said, yep, I'm building a farm. Um, it doesn't look amazing right now. I've um, been working on that bit off camera. Nothing much. I'm going to dig this place out off camera. And I'm going to fill it and make it look nice. You know, get rid of the dirt and stuff. But I am going to build the farm bit itself on camera. Because I feel like I've been doing a lot off camera. And that's not really what Minecraft's about. It's about building stuff so if you're just watching me build stuff it's not that fun so I'm going to dig this entire place out and make it just look a little bit neater and then come back but not right now in about a minute or two I will but first of all really good get yeah uh, Automatically opening stuff on those. I need redstone to do that, and that's kind of leading into what I was going to say. What we need to do is go out in a big cave exploration. I know we already had a little bit in episode three, I think, but now it's uh, I'm completely out of iron. I've been digging everything out. So we need to go out and get some more. Yeah, I need to eat some food. That's what I need to do. Hmm. So yeah. But I'm going to go out and dig that uh, farm up a bit. And actually, while I'm here, I probably need to cover this up. If you're wondering why, it, just, it looks neater. Um, there's a piece of cobblestone there, which is not natural. So, yeah. Hmm. I feel like I should add windows in this place, you know, like a big sort of long stretch of windows. I can have windows. Well, I, don't, I don't know exactly where to put them. Hmm. But yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, and this room, the uh, completely lost words there. Uh, this room is going to be a lot bigger because uh, this stretches out from nine from this point to that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put nine down from that point to that point. Well, that is nine down. And so I'm going to do this whole wall bit. So it's going to be a massive farm. And this does go to the mountain, by the way, so it is safe to dig out. But yeah, it's going to be massive. Unfortunately, I can't really go much further out than that. Like that back wall there, because that goes into the flat land bit. But it is something quite big. And I have this really interesting way of building the farm, which I will show you when I'm in the process of building it. But yes, I will start building it in. Uh, well, I'll start building it now. And for you, thanks to the magic of editing, it will be done in seconds. But for me, it will probably be a day or two before I finish it. So, uh, yeah. I want to explore over there a bit when I finish. But, yep. So, yep. I've been digging at this for quite a while now. And I have realised that I picked up a lot of cobblestone on the way. Which I have quite a good idea for, which I could do maybe after this episode I could show you. Well, I'm not sure. I haven't exactly planned what I'm doing next episode. But um, this is the farm, by the way, if you didn't catch on from a couple of seconds ago. Um, the farm is going to be this size. And I'm going to make it look neater, obviously. But yeah, that's how big it's going to be. 
Um, yeah, well, if you think about it, it is actually quite big. And also, I've got these other plants that maybe behind that wall there, I could have an automatic cactus and reed farm, which I will build on camera. But I need some. I need to go mining. So I might, I might do that next episode. Go mining. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry about that. But yeah. So I might go mining next episode. Hopefully it'll work out well. I'll be good. Although with my cobblestone, I, my uh, plan was that I could t smelt it all in the furnaces. Whoa. Crazy lag, guys. Anyways, so uh, my plan was to uh, melt it all in the furnaces and turn it into clean stone, which then I can turn into the new stone bricks. Which I think was neatly placed up a bit. I mean, I'm going to keep these cobblestone blocks because they kind of mix in quite well with it. I mean, I don't know. Ew. Once I get the stone bricks, I will show you it what it looks like. I'll test it myself as well. And I'll see if it looks any good. I'll do it, you know, like that side there. See if it looks any good. If it does, I'll change it. Because I have a lot of cobblestone. I mean, let's see. And this is. Like, well, that, that is all of it, but. So it's not like loads, but it's quite a good bit. So, uh. Yes. That's pretty much all I'm just going to here. So. Now time to build the farm. Right, so well, I have cut out the farm. Now I just need to fill it. And as you can see, I did not fill in this bottom part of the farm. And uh, for a good reason that I don't really need to because I'm covering it with half slabs. Now, uh, I have a couple of half slabs on me. Uh, probably not enough to cover the whole place, but... I'm going to try my best. And if you don't know what I'm doing, you will see quite quickly. Because it's this is a really, really effective way of farming. Pretty much, I'm just going to do this the whole way around, including the middle. So, um, yes, see you then. Right, so I've been building this farm for quite a while now. It looks good. And um, this is the idea that I've come up for with the design. It's a simple idea. Well, I didn't come up with the idea itself, but I got off Google Smackdown or not sure if he made the design up himself, but I just got it off him. He's the person who I watched to see this go. So, uh, yeah, it's really simple. Basically, the whole floor is made of half steps. And it looks really well because you can't really, you don't notice that it's made of half steps. Especially when you go down, because most of the time you see that there's an obvious down bit. But you go downstairs, and stairs, their bottom bit is a half step. And then the top bit's a non half step, so it mixes in really well with it. So, yeah, basically, underneath the half steps, I've got water. They're not under every single half step, they're only under bits I've dug out. But, whoa, but they're uh, water is underneath them, so that keeps the ground fertile when you dig it out, but it doesn't show the water. I can show it a little bit there, but you know, it doesn't involve you having big water patches in the middle of your thing which look quite ugly but um yeah so basically what I've done is I've built this other trench and I'm gonna build I think it's five I worked out with it around here like fully I could maybe fit in six but it may look a bit off so uh, uh yeah what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to simply show you how to fill it in. Which you don't really need to see how you fill it in because it's simple to fill it in. It's just, you just fill it in. 
and it goes all the way around the edges so that it doesn't go, you know, affect it. What I'm hoping to do is get a cactus farm going and uh, a cactus farm and a reed farm and they will be completely automatic. Um, I'm sure you all know how to get an automatic cactus farm but uh, there's off my hoe goes. Uh, I'm sure you all know how to get an automatic cactus farm going if you don't there's loads of sites off and I'll show you how to build it myself when I get around to it. I'm going to need to make a hoe. Oh yeah, and I've used up all my iron sort of off screen doing things like building this. So, yeah. Also, I got loads of clean stone so that we can make the new brick stone bricks blocks. So, hopefully, that'll be good. I'm thinking of doing that next episode and replacing all this cobblestone with brick stone to look nice and smooth that I told you that I think well to you probably about a couple of seconds ago for me it was about half a day ago but yeah I'll show you how to make an automatic read form if you don't know how to do that it's only recently it was, came in using sticky pistons no it's not it's not even sticky it's just pistons in general you don't need sticky pistons to do it and it's not the thing where you press the button and it harvests them all by yourself. It literally does automatically do it. So I don't even need to press a button or anything, which is great. And that's pretty much the farm done. So, uh, yep, yeah, see you next week. Or next episode, or whenever I post my next episode, or something. So, uh, see ya.